So data sufficient, data provided statements are sufficient. Next, come on. What is the cost of developing a one and a half meter wide garden on four sides of a rectangular field from inside at the rate of 285 meter square? See, when can you answer this question? When can you answer this question? Rectangular garden outside you need to have a path, right? Now you are asked to calculate cost of constructing the path. Cost is given as 285 rupees at the rate of square meter. Am I right? So if you know path area, we can calculate your answer. For getting path area, you need to know length and breadth of either inner rectangle or outer rectangle. Am I right? If you know any one, you can calculate the other. You need to have information about length and breadth, separate individual values. This is one way. The other way is, if you know their perimeter, still you can answer this question? Yes or no? Right. Even if you are given 2 into L plus B or simply L plus B also, still we can answer this question. Using just L plus B also, we can answer this question. Now, the length and breadth of rectangular field are in the ratio 8 is to 13 and the area is 1664. So, length is 8 parts, uh, breadth is 8 parts, length is 13 parts. Area becomes 8 parts into 13 parts. Come on. From that, that is equal to 1664. Can we calculate one part value? Yes. If you know one part value, can we calculate length and breadth? Yes. If you know length and breadth, can we calculate path area? Right. Will you get answer using one alone? Yes. yes. Perimeter of the rectangular field is 163 meters. Can we answer this question? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. One alone sufficient or two alone sufficient. Perimeter the gare kate koncham careful ga undali. Teli kapote adagandi. Using perimeter also we will get the area of the path. See, if inner rectangle length is L and breadth is B, outer rectangle length becomes L plus B and, uh, sorry, L plus 3 and B plus 3 because width of the road is 1.5. Length wise, you have to add here 1.5 and, and here also 1.5. Total, you need to add 3. And here also, for breadth wise, 1.5, 1.5, and and 3. Now, path area is outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle area. Outer rectangle area in the sense L plus 3 into B plus 3 minus inner rectangle area L into B. Now, if you expand this, LB will come. LB will be gets cancelled. 3L will come and 3B also will come. So, that becomes 3 into L plus B plus 9. Now, if you know L plus B value, can we calculate 3 into L plus B plus 9, that itself is path area. Hence, using L plus B also, we will get the answer. Need not to separately know what is the L value, what is B value. Got it? Right. Be careful with this. In an organization, out of total, 450 employees. Each employee has worked in one or more departments out of marketing, HR and IT. How many employees have worked in HR department, right. HR, marketing and then IT. Now your question is about HR. How many employees worked in HR department? That means you need to take first part. What, do you, what does first part refers? Only HR. Second part? HR and marketing only. Third part? HR and IT only. Fourth part? All. All. Right. Come on. 18 percent employees have worked in only marketing department. 24 percent have worked in only HR and 12 percent employees worked in only marketing and IT. This is about only marketing, only HR, marketing and IT. Now, only marketing is there, only HR is there, marketing and IT is there. Using this, can we get answer? Using this, can we get answer? No. 
because we need information about this entire circle got my point instead of only hr if at all if you are given only it also instead of giving only hr if it is about only it out of total 100% if you subtract these three tick mark places the remaining is hr only yes come on yes so for getting answer there are two ways one is by adding first part second part third part fourth part by adding these four parts you will get your total hr otherwise from total 100% if you subtract a b c if you subtract a plus b plus c then that will give you remaining value that is entire hr got my point right now using one alone will you get answer no way now in place of hr if it is it come on yes we will get it now using one we will not get it next 12 percent of employees have worked in only hr and marketing departments 10 percent of employees have worked in only hr and it departments and 8 percent of employees have worked in all three departments using only two will you get answer using only two will you get answer what is missing what is missing only hr is missing am i right if you include both only hr is here come on only hr is here and remaining values are here using one and two both can we answer the question yes in place of hr if you have it one itself is sufficient along with this information if you also know only hr information then second also would be fine ardhamainda now for this question both are required in how many days can a alone complete the work a is twice as efficient as b and one third as efficient as c b c together can complete the same work in 1 5 by 7 days using one alone will you get answer come on efficiency comparison is given for a b c come on right now that may look like something like this that may look like this if a efficiency is one part b efficiency is two parts and c efficiency is four parts and these are not exact numbers for example you will get numbers like this bc together will do six parts of work and bc together can complete the work in 1 5 by 7 these are number of days and here it is efficiency m1 d1 is equal to m2 into d2 ardhamainda yes or no right so you don't have to exactly calculate the answer but just make sure you will get the answer okay right next b alone can complete the same piece of work in 12 days is two alone sufficient is two required no way only one sufficient but not two alone. one alone is sufficient but not two alone next what is the length of the train the train crosses an electric pole in 20 seconds will you get answer using one alone why speed is not there am i right right if speed is mentioned one alone would sufficient next the train crosses 240 meters long platform in 50 seconds is two alone sufficient what is missing in two alone what is missing come on speed only if you are given speed in first first alone would sufficient if speed is given in second second alone would be sufficient am i right now speed is not there either in one or in two using one and two will you get answer using one and two will you get answer yes we will yes we will get it in first case how much time is taken and in second case come on how much extra time taken is is taken in second case come on 30 seconds why is that because platform length got increased how much is platform length that means conclusion says in 30 seconds we can cover 240 meters and to cover only train how much time is it taking 20 seconds in 20 seconds we can cover 160 meters what is your answer then 
both are required what is the two digit number sum of digits of the two digit number is 10 is one alone sufficient there may be so many combinations like 19 28 37 46 55 64 like that many combinations are possible unique answer is not possible next the number obtained by interchanging the digits is bigger than the original number by 72 is 12 on sufficient is 12 on sufficient no difference of a two digit number and number obtained by interchanging the digits should be always a multiple of always a multiple of 9 sum of two digit number and number obtained by interchanging the digit should be always a multiple of multiple of 11 two digit number a number obtained by interchanging the digits difference must be 9 multiple always sum of two digit number number obtained by interchanging the digits always should be a multiple of 11 9 multiple of which number difference of digits 11 multiple of which number sum of digits amma x y ante x a place lo undi tens place ante that is 10 x plus y yes if you interchange it it becomes y x that is 10 y plus x if you take difference that is 9x minus 9y that is 9 into x minus y difference of two digit number and number obtained by digit should be always 9 multiple of difference of digits correct if it is sum if it is sum uh, how many x are there 11 x plus 11 y that will be 11 into x plus y so sum of two digit number and number obtained by interchanging the digits should be always 11 multiple of sum of digits now and your difference is given as how much 72 72 can be written as 9 into which number 8 so difference of digit should be equal to 8 like that can we get unique number will there be unique number where difference of digits is 8 there will be only one combination if you interchange it it becomes 91 difference is 72 so you mean to say 19 and 91 both are possible yes or no but look at your read your condition carefully number obtained by interchanging the digit is bigger than original number if you interchange 19 you will get 91 91 is definitely more than original number if you take 91 where difference of digits is 8 but if you interchange it you will get 19 is 19 more than original number so this combination will not work so answer only 19 apart from 19 can you form any other number no will you get answer using one alone will you get answer using two alone come on yes clear come on now if sum of digits is 18 in place of 10 if i write 18 will you get answer using one alone yes or no 99 is the only two digit number where sum of two digits is 18 that is a unique number yes right now if it is difference of two digits of the two digit number if difference is 9 will you get unique answer will you get unique answer where difference of digits is 9 yes 90 is the only two digit number where difference of digits is 9 Ardhamayinda. yes right now if sum of two digit numbers is 2 will you get unique answer no 
no 20 is possible 11 is possible there can be two numbers so unique answer is not possible unique answer is possible for two digit number only in two cases where sum is 18 and difference is 9 here unique number formed is 99 and here unique number formed is 90 that is it got my point yes for any other numbers apart from these two you will not get unique answer 